morning, everybody. I think I lost you there momentarily. Welcome to today's Harry Edwards Healing Minute, our daily 10 o'clock Healing Minute. Thank you very much for joining me and welcome. It's Friday the 7th of October and it's a nice, bright, fresh day here in Surrey. I hope that wherever it is, wherever you are, um, you can see some optimism in the day ahead, whatever the weather's like. So let's now turn our thoughts to the job at hand, which is to tune in with the healing interruption there. Mm. Yes, to, he to tune into the healing source and to project these healing energies to all those on the Harry Edwards healing list and other healing lists around the world. So as always, let's start by allowing us to relax our breathing, taking some slightly deeper, slower breaths than we normally would. Visualizing us breathing in that positive energy on the in-breath and allowing all the wastes and unhelpful byproducts, unhelpful thoughts or negative emotions to be released on the out-breath. Let's Visualize ourselves nicely grounded, anchored to Mother Earth. And visualize the muscles in our head and forehead, down through our face, around our eyes, our jaw, all relaxing. Especially in our forehead, releasing any tension there. Perhaps you'd like to think of an elastic band that's been cut and the tension released. Feeling physically relaxed to start with and then allowing that to trigger a mental and emotional relaxation which we need for the healing to work. Let's feel our throat and neck releasing any tension in the muscles and in the nerves. Let's allow our shoulders to droop And for this healing wave to gently and slowly flow down through our body, releasing any tension in our organs, in our lungs, our heart, our digestive system, and then down through our arms and legs so that they lie heavy beside us, and for us to sink deeper and heavily into the seat we're sitting on until we are perfectly relaxed. And now let's project our mind's eye to somewhere where we are, we feel very relaxed and comfortable and secure. Maybe on a beach bed in front of the seashore or in the countryside. Let's feel the sun on our face. Let's hear those natural sounds of the wind in the leaves, the birds maybe the gulls over the sea and just allow any issues, thoughts or concerns of the day to drift to the back of our minds. Now we're ready to, tu to attune ourselves in. We give thanks that we're gathered together today and ask that our homes be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us and as our crown chakra opens we visualize a column of pure white light filling our body and then feel the balance and harmony within our body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of our feet and our base chakra we feel connected to the universal source of pure, unconditional love. 
balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. Thank you for your lovely messages, everybody. It does help to build up that community feeling as we come together with a common intent of connecting with the healing source and channeling it out into the world. It's really lovely to hear from you. Perhaps you'd like to join me now in reciting the sanctuary prayer. Heavenly Father, I surrender myself to the good influencing of your healing ministers in spirit, that through your divine healing power, the disharmonies within me might be overcome and the stresses of mind and body eased and lessened day by day. Help me to adopt a more positive and helpful way of thought, bringing me into closer harmony with those around me and with the divine healing purpose. And for those who are sick or in the darkness of despair, who do not know of the help that can reach them from spirit, let us pray that awareness will come to them soon, that they too might experience the upliftment of spirit that can lead us all through harmony towards true health. Amen. I'm just going to pause the music for a moment now. As we prepare ourselves for the healing minute, we now ask that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder at the sanctuary may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their families and friends and for their loved ones who put their names on the healing list. And we ask that this healing prayer be extended to everybody who is on a healing list at healing centres up and down the country and around the world. And for this healing to be extended to the animal kingdom so that they too will benefit from this beautiful healing energy. May they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. Let's pause now for a minute as we connect with the source and with each other, visualising this radiant divine light being spread out into the world, reaching all those individuals who have asked for the healing help. Thank you, everybody. Our thanks and blessings for your help here today. And of course, our special thanks to our friends in spirit who provided the healing source of energy. As you know, we're here every day at 10 o'clock, except uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. You're very welcome to join in and participate in this lovely few minutes out of our normal routine. Um, tomorrow, uh, your host at 10 o'clock, or our host at 10 o'clock will be Stuart, so please join him if you are available. 
and uh, looking forward at our events, we have uh, um, an in another of the in conversation series tonight on Zoom, hosted by Alison McQuinney, our director of development, and her guest tonight is Suzanne Giesman. Uh, that's at seven thirty on Zoom, and then at seven thirty tomorrow night on Zoom and Facebook. Uh, Alan Moore, another uh, of our trustees, Alan, of course, will be hosting uh, another of the Healing for You sessions. So if you feel that you're in need of healing, that's an opportunity to tune in and to benefit from it. Uh, for our reading this morning, I'd like to take an, another section uh, from the um, section uh, or the lecture that I used last Friday. Uh, this was uh, prepared by Olive Burton, who, with her husband, worked with Harry Edwards for many years in the early days. Um, we think this was prepared in a, around the 1960s, and it was a lecture she was obviously giving to some external body. Um, and it's, she called it Some Aspects of Spiritual Healing. And last week's uh, excerpt, uh, Olive was talking about um, the essentials for uh, healing to be successful. The first she mentioned was the obvious one of tuning in, uh, attunement. And then the second one she talked about was the develop, uh, self-development, the importance of the development of the self of the healer uh, to help uh, improve the healing quality. And this lecture, as I mentioned, was found just a couple of weeks ago in the archives in our basement by one of our tutors, Klaus Johansson. Uh, so it's newly come to light and um, we are seeing if we can make it more widely available because it's very interesting. So the next section that Olive talked about is as follows. All that I have said so far has dealt with preparation, a preparation that never ends. And it leads me to another aspect of healing which interests me. That is the use of the voice or the expression of one's spirit personality through the voice. I believe that a healer, if he or he she has the right personality, can do a lot of good simply by talking to their patients, with the object of understanding and smoothing out their disharmonies. This, of course, applies to a very great extent in mind cases, mental and emotional uh, problems, but it does not only apply to these, for in many, many other cases, there is an underlying spirit or mind disharmony which has caused or is aggravating a physical condition. And I repeat that by talking to a person with a healing intent, a tremendous amount of good can be done. It may seem that I am confusing spiritual healing with psychology, or simply the art of suggestion, but I am not. Certainly, psychology will invariably play a part in every form of healing, but there is more to that about which I am speaking. When a healer is about to treat a patient, firstly, of course, he seeks a state of attunement with the spirit operators and invokes God's aid through them. Secondly, before commencing treatment, the healer must blend in with the patient, which means that his spirit self will contact the spirit self of the client, a simple and natural process where sympathy then exists. This harmonious blending will be, will be maintained throughout the treatment, so that through the spirit self of the healer, corrective influences can be directed to the spirit self of the client, which in turn will react upon the physical symptoms. But to come back to the point I was making, it will be seen that under these conditions, when the healer talks to his patient, he or she will be speaking not only under the direction of their ordinary mind, but with their spirit mind, and they will be reaching the spirit mind of the patient, wherein invariably the disharmony lays. This is healing, not psychology, and I am convinced of the good that can be achieved this way, for one can strongly sense the reaction and see the adjustment that follows. In our work, we are called upon to help many conditions of mind disharmony, ranging from mild cases to quite extreme ones. 
It is a phase of work that interests me very much and calls for a constant endeavour to increase one's understanding of the working and reactions of different people's minds and to learn to interpret the underlying emotions so that one can more easily help these people. For I do not think that in cases of this kind the healing can be greatly enhanced if the healer I, this, uh, sorry, I, uh, the healing can be greatly enhanced if the healer has the quality of perception and rare understanding. Again, it may be said that this is psychology. I would call it psychology plus. So some very personal reflections on the healing act from Olive there, and they do seem to resonate and um, are something that, as healers, we should bear in mind the power of uh, talking to our clients, not just uh, idle conversation, but talking with a healing intent and with the knowledge that we have linked to our spirit selves and that, that our spirit self is linking with the spirit self of the client. Lovely thoughts and I hope that you enjoyed that and found that thought provoking. So here we are, ready now to take on, resume our daily duties. So remember to close yourself down. Let's all stand under that spring water shower and just feel ourselves cleansed and refreshed from head to toe, both outside and inside, because this is special spiritual water that can flow inside our bodies and cleanse any aspect that needs cleansing. And also our mind, refreshing and uplifting that so that we emerge from this shower completely clean and refreshed. Let's draw on that energy, the magnetic energy from Mother Earth and the divine energy from Source and bring that in through our chakras and allow that energies, those energies to merge and refuel us. Let's gently close our chakras now from the crown, sorry, from the brow to the sacral and allowing our crown chakra and our base chakra to adjust the correct positions for each one of us. Let us wrap ourselves now in a robe of protection. Give thanks for the work that we've been able to participate in this morning and to go on our way. So have a lovely day, everybody. I'm going to leave you in the company of Harry's portrait with that lovely smile. Whoops. <laughs> There you go. And in the background, the music for relaxation by Chapman, Miles and Rhodes. So that each of us can just say a little prayer of thought to get us ready for our day. Thank you, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.